In the session entitled Instantaneous and Accelerated Motion, we discussed how the ability of a stepper motor to overcome forces of inertia to change speed within the boundary of one step position can be considered an instant change in velocity. In the following session, entitled Interpolation, we discussed how vector velocity regulation was most suitable for cutting tools because it maintained a constant speed across the material regardless of direction. This session will combine these two concepts. Loosely defined, contouring is the action of traversing a complex path, most often approximated by end-to-end -end line segments. When a machine is either depositing or removing material, the speed of traversal throughout the contour has a significant effect on the quality of the manufactured part. Consistent motion also reduces the total traversal time, thus increasing machine throughput. It is helpful first to consider that motor speed necessarily changes instantaneously whenever the direction of traversal changes. Here's an example where no movement occurs in the Y direction until the transition point. A constant vector rate is maintained. At the transition point, the Y stage instantaneously accelerates to a speed that will follow the 45 degree divergent path. In this demo of our example, you can only hear the audio from the X stage. Notice from the tone that the X stage instantaneously decelerates at the transition point in order to maintain the same vector velocity in the following segment. The amount of instantaneous rate change that occurs at any transition point depends on the speed of traversal into the transition and the amount of diversion from the current direction. Similar in theory to starting from rest, in order to successfully negotiate any transition, the stepper motor must be able to sustain this rate change within the boundary of one step position. In the extreme, if every linear interpolation were slowed to the stopping instantaneous rate, then every transition can be safely negotiated without overstressing any motor. But this not only wastes time, but also results in erratic progression along the tool path. In the other extreme, not slowing makes the actual stress on the motor dependent upon the geometry of the path, at best limiting the reliable vector speed to the instantaneous starting rate, and at worst, risking occasional overstress and loss of position. Ability Systems Controls, however, automatically optimizes contouring speed to avoid overstress. The technician can specify how much instantaneous rate the machine is capable of sustaining under all circumstances. In this G-Code Controller Job Setup dialog, this value is called Feed Shift. Using this value, then, the software will decelerate from the vector rate only as much as necessary to avoid overstress at every transition point. Thus, the speed through each transition is the maximum that the system can safely negotiate. Here is an exaggerated example. A relatively low setup for acceleration is used so that you can see and hear the process of anticipating a 45 degree divergent angle. When the divergence is lessened, as with this 10 degree divergence, almost no slowing occurs. Smooth contours consist of end-to-end -end linear interpolations with relatively little divergence. Here's a smooth contour comprised of two lines and an arc. The arc is approximated by multiple line segments. Notice that vector speed is maintained throughout the contour and almost no slowing occurs entering into the arc. In order to reliably traverse all geometries, however, consideration must be made for instances where segments within the contour are too short to accommodate deceleration into the transition point, as might be necessary in cases where there is an abrupt change into a path, shown here. The segment, or several segments preceding the abrupt change, may not provide for enough distance to decelerate. For this reason, Indexer LPT decelerates through as many segments as necessary to avoid overstress at any transition point sensing up to seven simultaneous axes. In other words, 
Indexer LPT causes the motors to seek the vector rate, slowing when and where necessary. Here is a G-coded Disney cartoon pattern that was provided to us by one of our customers, consisting of a large number of arcs and smooth contours. Under control of G-code controller, Indexer LPT traverses the path rapidly, smoothly, and accurately. Indexer LPT's control over instantaneous rate change is also advantageous for step direction controlled servo systems. Instead of losing synchronization from overstress, servos round off abrupt corners. For these systems, specifying velocity shift enables you to easily control and limit this type of inaccuracy. To recap, any change in the path of a linear interpolation requires an instantaneous speed change in order to follow the geometry of the new direction. Step motors are capable of instantaneously changing rate to a certain extent. Ability System software allows you to specify the extent of instantaneous rate change that your system is capable of sustaining and automatically regulates speed as close to the vector rate as possible, slowing only as necessary to avoid overstress. For stepper motor systems, greater contouring speeds are made possible. For servo systems, the amount of rounding off at transition points can be controlled, thus increasing the quality of the manufactured part.